idiot! Dolphin spotted swimming with a t-shirt on in Australia. There is something you don't see every day. A dolphin wearing what appears to be a t-shirt. It might sound funny, but this apparent act of animal cruelty is no laughing matter. A concerned citizen spotted the odd sight on January 26th and quickly contacted authorities. Officials aren't sure what happened, but the day the report came in happened to be Australia Day. Put a bunch of Aussies in a celebratory mood on a boat, add in some booze, and then a dolphin shows up at the party. The details might not be clear, but one can imagine how these factors could have all played into the dolphin's predicament. A wet t-shirt contest at a party might seem harmless, but if the shirt covered the dolphin's blowhole, it could have restricted its breathing. The dolphin was last spotted swimming in Kumbana Bay in Western Australia and hasn't been seen since. Officials say it's unlikely the dolphin slid into the shirt on its own, leading them to believe it was an intentional act of animal cruelty. Some people like to pick on dolphins. Here are a few disturbing incidents. Another dolphin selfie to death. Stupid, badly behaving tourists are at it again, sacrificing yet another poor animal to the altar of the perfect selfie. On Sunday, beachgoers spotted a baby dolphin in San Bernardo, Argentina, and promptly dragged the creature out of the water. After parking it on the beach, the idiots whipped out their camera phones and selfie sticks for an Instagram-worthy shot. Never mind that the tiny mammal was dying, as more people gathered round stroking and petting it. The poor animal eventually went up to dolphin heaven, thanks to these asshats. It's the second time in about a year that idiotic tourists have hassled a dolphin to death. For all the clueless out there, a friendly reminder, stay far, far away. Baby dolphin killed by beachgoers parading it around for photos. This defenseless baby dolphin died after being carried around out of the water at the Santa Teresita beach in Argentina. People on the beach crowded around to take photos and touch the Franciscana dolphin, also known as the La Plata river dolphin. This species is listed as vulnerable in the International Union for Conservation of Nature red list of threatened species. Statistics indicate there are only around 30,000 La Plata dolphins left. They are particularly vulnerable because they swim near the shoreline. The dolphin sideshow ended when the dolphin likely became dehydrated and overheated from being out of the water for too long. Its lifeless body was abandoned after the crowds had had their fill of torturing the aquatic mammal. Facebook user Hernan Korea posted the series of photos, with the caption automatically translated to say, Second dolphin who appears in the day in Santa Teresita, a pity I don't think they lived. Outraged social media users condemned the cruelty to animals seen in the photos. Facebook user Megan Stone wrote, Shame on those who kept this animal out of the water for the pleasure of taking photos or just to hold it. You killed it, shellfish people who don't care. While Mare Montgomery was even harsher in her reaction, I hope all involved suffocate while someone takes pics instead of saving their lives. The Wildlife Foundation in Argentina used one of the photos to raise awareness about this vulnerable species, as well as what to do if you happen to find a beached La Plata dolphin. Dolphins forced to jump through flaming hoops in traveling circus. In Indonesia, life for these captive dolphins is as tough as it gets. Forced to do both dangerous and clownish tricks for the public as the stars of a traveling circus, their only reward is a few dead fish here and there. The dolphins are transported from venue to venue, performing in plastic pools filled with artificial salt water and high levels of chlorine, which can cause blindness. They perform all sorts of unnatural feats, such as leaping through flaming rings, a unique behavior not witnessed anywhere in the wild ever. During the performances, music is blaring and the deafening roar of the audience is painful for the dolphins, seeing as they are acoustic creatures. Once the show is done, the dolphins are then caught in large nets and transferred onto stretchers. Loaded onto the tarp-like stretchers, they are carted off by circus staff toward rusty old trucks. In the trucks are small individual shipping crates, half filled with water, which the dolphins are placed into. Then, the circus hits the road on the way to the next city, and it's not a smooth ride. Some trips are reported to be along bumpy roads for up to 14 hours, and maybe even longer. It's not just the 72 bottlenose and stenella dolphins who find themselves enslaved in this nightmare. Other animals forced to survive and perform in this cruel, portable operation range from otters doing oddball acts two cockatoos doing stage tricks, and even sun bears riding tricycles are featured. It's a sad, sad little world that rakes in the equivalent of roughly 60,000 US dollars each month. Though dolphins are a protected species in Indonesia, the country's lack of enforcement on illegal captures 
and its poor monitoring of the welfare of these animals makes it easy and convenient for these circuses to remain in business.